Here's uh, another one of our milkweeds. This is common milkweed. And uh, this patch has been growing in our front yard for about 25 years. Let's take a look if it's as aggressive as uh, people say. So, this is our little patch here. This has been growing here. Oh, I didn't even know there were birds in there. This has been growing here about 25 years. And while it is pretty aggressive, it's very easily controlled. I'm about 6'4", and these plants are as tall as me. And I've seen them tower over me, actually. You can tell by the uh, light pink flowers. We have purple milkweed, but see how these just kind of are loose? It does have, in the sun, it does have the purple mark, so, uh, of the vein. Has a purple vein, so uh, people do get confused, but it is much uh, taller. This is uh, kind of a common sight here in New Jersey. You see it along roadways, pretty much everywhere. The uh, flowers are very, very fragrant see the comeback buds sometimes you'll find monarch eggs laid there can't really see this there are quite a few bees but uh, not as many bees as last year I have to tell you They do get aphids, <clears throat> but these will spread. So let's talk about, uh, are they aggressive? Yes, they are aggressive, but the nice thing is you can easily pull the shoots up. Uh, we even occasionally I'm going along. My wife laughs at me because I mow around it. Let's take a look. You can see. They're coming up in the lawn. What we do is we just mow those down. They keep coming up. Uh, gives us fresh shoots for the monarchs when they arrive. The fragrance is amazing. Look at these bees. some new shoots coming up let me show you so right here are cone flowers and I really don't want them to um, take over so see this shoot right here gonna simply pull comes right up so see this we're gonna put this in water for 24 hours and then in damp soil and a pretty good success on uh, growing an extra plant here we have this in, uh, it's starting to infringe on the monarda so we're gonna pull this guy up see how easy that is he's this very tall piece This guy's got to go next. Easy. Another piece. You can see here. And, uh, here's a real tall one. Uh -oh. 
Oh, that one we got root. That one's gonna transplant and grow real easy. Now see that keeps the tall milkweed to the back and then uh, kind of gives a uniform and lets the, all, all the other plants blend in. But uh, that's our common milkweed. It's been here for 25 years. Never have a problem. Oh, here's another one we're gonna get. Simply pull it. Got a little bit of root. Those will go elsewhere in the garden. I'll have to figure out if I want to pull these guys. Yeah, I want to pull these guys. And now you can see our sign, as battered and old as it is. Oh, here's another one in the Menarda. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave these guys. I'll just sign on those later. But now you can see, I've got a nice bunch of native perennials in the front and a nice healthy common milkweed in the back so while it is aggressive real it's just like it's as easy as what you just saw the control the roots are still under there and it may put on another shoot but i'll do the same thing and pull it again the other thing is, when the monarchs come, I could use this as food. So, I didn't get much on those, but I'm gonna try them. But these, I got good stems. Those are gonna go in water for 24 hours. And then in the backyard. Now we're gonna pull this guy too. <clears throat> Look at that. I believe it was this species that uh, colonists used to uh, stuff pillows. Because I don't think you know, you know, people are allergic to the uh, milkweed soap. So, every year the monarchs come later and the uh, milkweed blooms. They always come after. Look at this wasp. Anyway, the bees are starting to show up. They always show up when the milkweed blooms. We got it all, we got a lot, we got a fight to keep what we really want. And don't you forget, no, no, what your father told you, that there's a lot of life that is far beyond you. We're saving a piece at a time, one step in the right direction. Protecting that far and wide, a piece of our wild side.